Hello folks, welcome to CodeCrux. This is Mahesh Gwani and in this video tutorial, I will be giving you 20 tasks. If you complete these 20 tasks, I am sure you will master customizing the plots in Matplotlib library. You have to read testdata.csv file into data frame called df. Uh, this testdata.csv file is hosted on codecrux.com website. The link of this data file is given in the description box. You can download it from there. There are basically two attributes in this file, age and salary, and there are 10 records. So this df data frame would look like this. First, you have to store the column age into age variable. As it is a one dimensional, it will be converted from data frame to series. Next, you have to store salary column of the data frame df into variable called salary. This salary amount is in rupees. You have to convert it into um, uh, thousand. So you need to divide the salary by 1000. So it will be converted into uh, thousand unit. Uh, next, you have to set the plot size to 10 comma 8 and you have to create a plot of age versus salary. So the basic plot would look like this. The output of this operation is this. Now uh, I'll start with 20 tasks. The output of task 1 will be used as an input to task 2. Similarly, output of task 2 will be used as an input to task 3. So output of any task will be used as an input to next subsequent task. So this output we will use as an input to task 1. The task 1 is you have to change the color of line to red. Next you have to set the style of line to dashed as it is a solid line it should be converted into dashed line. And you also have to set the width of line to 3. Uh, this is one pixel width line and once you will apply all these three uh, uh, operations onto this plot, this plot would look like this. So this output we will use as an input in task number 2. So this is our input and your task is we have to add some markers with circular shape into this task. Next you have to also set the size of marker to 20. So once you execute these two operations, the graph would look like this. The markers of shape circular are added and the size of markers has been set to 20. Next, we will use that output as an input to the task number 3. Uh, to customize the marker, you have to uh, set the color of marker to cyan. Uh, you also have to set the border of this marker to black color and you also need to set the width of marker to 3 pixels. So uh, after performing this operation, your graph would look like this. It's beautifully looking graph. This graph we will use as an input to task number four. And now we will play with the legends. So you have to add legend called salary. So once you will add the legend, uh, your graph will have a legend called salary by default on top left corner. Now we will try to customize this legend. So you have to remove the frame border of the legend. Uh, you also need to give title called age to this legend and you also need to uh, play with the location. You have to set the location of this legend to the lower right corner. So once you apply this customization, the graph looks like this. In task number six, uh, we will set the axis limit. So by changing the axis limits, uh, we can zoom in or zoom out the particular graph. So for this graph, you have to set axis limit on x axis as 22 to 55 and y axis limit you need to set 40 to 90. So once you apply these changes, our graph will shrink and it looks like this. So this is more appealing compared to the previous one. In task number seven, we will apply, we will annotate this graph so uh, that we can get better idea about the uh, axis and the uh, variables of this graph. So you need to set x axis label to age of employee, y axis should represent salary of employee in 1000. So we will write k after that. And uh, you also need to add the title of this chart as a age versus salary. Once you annotate your graph with these three things, your graph looks like this. So this is more informative compared to the previous one. In task 8, you have we will customize uh, this labels and title. So you have to set font size of x and y axis label to 14. So we are changing the font uh, size. Uh, then you have also need to change the color of x and y axis label to hash ec4e20. That's some random color. Okay, and it's a hexadecimal code. 
you also have to change the chart title to 18 uh, make sure that your chart title should be larger than the axis label because that's the uh, main uh, component and finally uh, you have to set the color of chart title to blue once we apply all four customization uh, the graph would look like this it is obviously more appealing than the previous one uh, now we will add major uh, grids to the chart so grid will give us more information about the placement or the relationship of the data so once you add the major grid your chart looks like this so it gives us better placement or better idea of the position of the uh, intersection point or the data points in task 10 we will customize this major grid so uh, you need to change the color of this grid uh, to 55 af22 again some random color and you are supposed to uh, change the transparency level of this grid to 0 0.5 so once you apply these two changes your chart looks like this so you have reached to halfway uh, if you have achieved this same graph uh, on your jupyter notebook or on any other editor then congratulations to you if you are not able to generate the same graph uh, you just keep working on it or you just keep watching the video you will get hint at somewhere into this video in task 11 uh, you have to add minor grids to this chart and you also need to change the transparency level of minor grid to 0.2 so that graph looks like this it is even more informative it gives even more precise information about the position of these data points in task number 12 uh, we are changing the color of those minor grid to hash ac5742 some random color and we are also changing uh, the style of minor grid to dashed right now it is a solid line and it is required to convert it into dashed line so after these two changes uh, the graph looks like this in task number 13 uh, you are supposed to add uh, the ticks x ticks and y ticks so on x axis you have to use age for x ticks on y axis you have to use salary for the y ticks so once you apply the ticks this major grid will readjust and now it will only pass from the data points uh, before you apply the uh, ticks uh, the grid was uniformly distributed but once you apply the ticks that grid will auto readjusted and it will only pass from the uh, data points as well as uh, the uh, x axis numbers you can see that uh, 25 30 35 40 has been changed to 27 30 32 and so on once you apply the ticks only those value will be displayed where data points are present next we'll customize this ticks uh, so you have to set the orientation of the x ticks by 90 degree that means you need to rotate this by 90 degree and you also have to set the font size of x and y axis ticks to 14 unit so once you do this uh, the graph will look like this as you can see that these are the smaller font size that's the default font and here now font size has been increased uh, that is 14 unit and this ticks on x axis have been rotated as well by 90 degree next you have to add vertical line at x is equal to 37 and y is equal to 67 normally uh, this kind of lines are useful to represent median or some representative point in your graph so we can give more emphasis on that particular point so once we add the vertical line at x is equal to 37 and y is equal to 67 this particular data point will get uh, more visual impact so that could be either median or first quartile or third quartile etc of the data points so you have reached to three-fourth part of the tasks if you have achieved this graph congratulations to you if not keep watching the video somewhere hints are available you can definitely uh, generate this graph with those hints in task 16 uh, you have to set following parameters for the both the lines so you have to set the color of lines to hash a3 6f 63 uh, for both the lines you have to set width of line to 5 unit and you also need to change the solid line to the dotted line and once you do that your graph would look like this on this graph uh, you need to fill the area from base that is from the x-axis to the line plotted for age versus salary 
that means from x axis to the dotted red line we have to fill up the area so once we apply that customization the graph looks like this so that will give us the area under the line uh, but it does not look much good due to the color of this uh, filled region so let us customize that color as well so we will uh, set the filled region color to uh, fe 5f double 5 and also required to change the transparency level to 0 0.5 once you do this to twax, your graph would look like this. It's beautifully looking graph. In task 9, uh, you have to change the default style of plot to Seaborn style. So whatever is visible here, it is uh, having the default matplotlib style. Matplotlib supports many style and uh, Seaborn is one of them. When you apply the Seaborn style, the graph looks like this. And the last task is you have to save your plot as myplot.png. This is nicely and highly customized graph. We have played with almost each and every part of this graph, starting from line, markers, colors, grids, ticks, labels, titles, legends, everything. Fine. So this graph you can save as a myplot.png and you can use such graphs in your thesis or presentation or report or research paper anywhere. If you have achieved this graph, then congratulations to you. You have mastered the skill of manipulating the graphs in matplotlib. You can customize almost anything with this skill. And don't worry if you have not been able to generate this graph. Uh, the link of the entire code for this manipulation uh, or the generation of the graph is available in the description box of this video itself on YouTube channel Code Crux and it is also available in matplotlib section on the blog www.codecrux.com. Hope this will help you. Thank you.